investigative journalist Sarah Cutter just dropped a new report on the explosive documents obtained by congressional investigators which illustrate coordination against the Trump campaign by top-level Obama White House officials, the CIA and the FBI. The more details leak out, the closer and closer this scandal moves to Obama's Oval Office. From Sarah Carter, documents obtained by congressional investigators suggest possible coordination by Obama White House officials the CIA and the FBI into the investigation into President Donald Trump's campaign. Those senior Obama officials used unsubstantiated evidence to launch allegations in the media that the Trump campaign was colluding with Russia during the run-up to the 2016 presidential election, according to newly discovered documents and communications obtained by Congress. The documents also reveal that former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, D. Nevada, sent a letter on August 29, 2016, asking then-FBI Director James Comey to investigate the allegations, which were presented to him by then-CIA Director John Brennan. Brennan had briefed Reid privately days earlier on the counterintelligence investigation and documents suggest Reid was also staying in close touch with Comey over the issues. The Gang of Eight is a group of eight lawmakers who have access to the most highly classified information and often meet on Capitol Hill to be briefed on classified material. The documents, which include text messages from embattled FBI special agent Peter Skzok and his paramour Lisa Page, also reveal that former Obama White House Chief of Staff Dennis McAnuff was involved in the initial investigation into Trump's campaign. Cummy, Brennan and McAnuff the highest-ranking officials at the FBI, CIA and White House were working in concert to ensure an investigation was initiated, congressional members told this reporter Rep. Mark Meadows. A member of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee, was deeply troubled by the findings. We've been asking for documents with little cooperation of the DOJ and FBI. We're having to find these unreacted documents on our own, said Meadows, who's also chairman of the House Freedom Caucus. It appears there was a coordination between the White House, CIA, and FBI at the onset of this investigation, and it's troubling. Meadows said a meeting that John Moffer, who was part of the counterintelligence division at the FBI, meets with Dennis McNiff on August 10, 2016, Meadows added. What we're finding is the more we dig the more we realize that there appeared to be a willful coordination between multiple groups outside the Department of Justice and FBI. Muffer was also the FBI agent who helped draft Cummings July 5, 2016, exoneration letter to Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server. Meadows said the documents suggest Reid's briefing from Brennan was used in Michael Isikoff's Yahoo News story. Isikoff's article was used as evidence for the FBI's FISA warrant being granted against Carter Page. Page was a short-term volunteer advisor on the Trump campaign, who was spied on by the FBI. Congress and the Department of Justice are investigating the FBI's conduct in obtaining a Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act warrant in October 2016 to spy on Page. Page was a central figure in an unverified dossier put together by former British spy Christopher Steele alleging the Trump campaign colluded with Russia. In April 2017 the New York Times published the first story about Brennan's counterintelligence briefing to read regarding Trump. The briefings to Gang of Eight Congressional members suggested Russia might be helping Trump win the election. Brennan alluded to the unverified information that members of the Trump campaign may be colluding with the Russians. The information briefed to the lawmakers expanded the number of people who were aware of the unverified allegations, and played a significant role in the increase of leaks to the media. According to the information obtained by the committee, a congressional investigator told this reporter that they believe the FBI was involved in the briefing to Reid but are still waiting for confirmation. In the letter from Reid to Cummey, he cites information Brennan shared with him that Trump advisor, referencing Carter Page, and other high-ranking sanctioned individuals in Moscow were meeting. Reid asks Cummey to launch an investigation by the FBI into the Trump campaign and the Kremlin. The letter, which was obtained by this reporter, refers to reports briefed by Brennan but gives almost no evidence regarding the Trump campaign in Russia, according to congressional investigators. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this report? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more at the best prices, Please feel free to visit www.atthesmall.com once again that is www.at this
more. Dot com.